I would rather be imprinted by the man that I'm marrying and not engage in sort of like a psychological, biological, spiritual orgy. You don't realize the strength you have being single. Not let these faux passport bros that can't afford to go abroad play in your face. I personally believe that men would always like lead. For me, I'm that kitambo person. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to Motor Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. If you marry a woman that's been with 10 different men, that's a lot of imprinting. Because for a woman, it changes your DNA. Wow. It changes it. It alters it. This is biologically proven. So you're being imprinted. I would rather be imprinted by the man that I'm marrying and not engage in sort of like a psychological, biological, spiritual orgy. Because now, you know, a lot of times you wonder why relationships are not working because they're comparing you with other lovers. And because everything... This is coming from a woman. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all see this right now. This is coming from a fully grown woman saying this so it's weird because i guess the minute echo chambers i guess right they're hearing the echoes it's like what else is like ah! it's like we're speaking russian we're speaking chinese and they don't understand but they don't understand here either because if it's not something they want to hear i got some money for you baby forget about it let me let it cook Everything happens at a psychological subconscious level. Sometimes people are not able to access why they treat you or respond to you in a certain way when the response is coming from all of these other experiences that they've had. Wow. They say it's that. They also say it's different spirits from other places too. I mean, it's, it's so, so wild. And the way... The body is and the way certain things can mess up your aura and your inside of your mind, inside of your body. You don't realize these things, but she said it, the imprinted in you, right? And I was looking up something that shows when you have a kid with a woman, they you're a part of their DNA for like 15 years through the baby and through you having a kid with them. So yes, you stay connected to that person. And so imagine, as she said, and she said 12 guys. She said it. 12 guys. It's a little different for men. Right? But especially with the kids, it's even deeper. You guys got to look into that. Right? But I've seen it. I got to pull up that article, too. It'll blow you guys' mind. But I'm sure you guys already know what I'm talking about. You don't even realize the strength you have being single. Single me, be painting installing cabinets, putting license plates on the back of cars. Single me be getting y'all. Whatever I want done, I get done. Who needs a man? Who needs a man when you can just do it yourself? I need a man, y'all. I don't like it. <laughs> I want to call daddy. Can you, babe, can you, honey, please go. Baby, this not done. I just want to assist you at this point. I don't want to do all this. I Look. I just want a good man that's going to just answer everything that I see. Because I'm tired of putting together. I didn't install computer desks, mounted TVs. I ain't supposed to be doing all this. But yeah, daddy. Because <laughs> this ain't going to this ain't gonna cut it. I heard that. First, she's like, single people be doing this. I'm like, oh, it's going that way. But yeah, no, she's right, right? I'm happy she gets it. Um, more women should realize that as well because you have so many saying, I don't need a man. I can do it on my own until it's time to fix that car or it's time to pick up something heavy or you're moving out on your own. And it's like, Oof, who are you calling? I can call a moving truck. Sometimes you don't want to spend that money on a moving truck. And you can call up some men you know, right? And a lot of women want to call up that men they know, but oh, no, they don't because 
They're stuck with the uh, propaganda, right? They're stuck with propaganda. It's all propaganda. And nobody realizes it until they're alone and nobody to call on. Yo, everybody keeps asking, Brandon, why did you call those women so many times? First of all, I only called two out of the eight women. So a one to four ratio is not bad. Second of all, I only primarily focused my business on one. And I'm finna show you exactly why. Lots of guys in the Midwest are just simps, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a very uh, female dominant culture. And, and they, where are you from so that people can, like, uh, I was uh, I was born in Chicago, but I grew up in North Carolina. So okay. I live in Chicago now, but I'm country as hell still. Cause I spent okay. my whole childhood down there. You know okay, what I'm saying? gotcha. So I'm very nice in country until yeah. you try me. Then it's like, bitch, I'm a Gemini. Why would you play with me? You know what I'm saying? Is that so? <laughs> oh my, God. My, my, my birthday on Monday, by the way. You feel me? Oh, happy birthday. There you go. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be 36. Oh, damn. Should've kept that to yourself. Should've kept that to yourself. Should've kept that to yourself. I literally just finished telling this I'm a Gemini. I literally just finished telling this I wasn't the one. And within the same sentence, this bitch tried me. So, of course, now I'm locked in on All right, now, I didn't like what happened there, right? I didn't like what happened. I can tell from the way he was on that show he didn't understand how the show's supposed to flow, right? He didn't watch the show, which I thought was childish in a way. I'll tell you why, right? I can tell from what he said. Oh, they focused on these ones. What about the viral dude? He said it too. He said another clip. What about the viral dude? Now, bro, if you ever, you should have done your research and watched the show. Now, if someone's inviting me in their show, and I know I've never seen it before. I've seen I've seen plenty plenty of shows from Fresh and Fit, so I knows how it goes. But if I don't know that day before, I'm sure they've let him know. They've let him know well in advance. And as he said, he's the viral guy. So before, I, like, say if somebody invites me to Kelly, Kelly and Regis, I'm going to see how all of their shows go. I had to question people, so I'm well prepared, right? He wasn't prepared. He was he should have known on that show. Look at look in the past too. You can see clips all over online everywhere. Women sometimes get out of character, right? You don't act like a woman. I'm sorry, guys. That's what it was like. Like I'm it's I'm not gonna it's not in me to just say bit 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 everything every chance you get bit 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 I would have embarrassed her. I would have, but not in that way. I would have made her feel small. Not in that way. Without calling her bit, 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 bit. There's different ways you get to handle it. And still made her feel minuscule. Right? But that's the way he handled it. I guess, and I'm sure some people agree with him. I just didn't agree with him. To be honest, that's not how I was raised. And forget all of the, oh, you treat women like queens? No, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in treating women like queens. But I'm not going to be, bit, 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 bit. That's not even my vocabulary. And it shouldn't be in really in any man's. Because most men aren't out here talking like that. Bit, 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 bit. So 100,000 women went on strike today in Iceland to demand gender equality. The entire population is 370,000. So over 25% of the population went on strike, and I have some crazy news for you. The economy did not come to a stop, and it continued as normal. The only memo I got was that HR departments were getting no complaints for the 24 hours that the women were on strike. Why am I not surprised? And um, <laughs> men were writing that they were really sorry women didn't get gender equality, but I heard uh, one CEO said it would finally get some done, end quote. That's wild, right? All those women on strike, and they got no... I don't know if that's true or not, but I can understand, right? They got no complaints <laughs> from the complaint lines. I, I don't know. I don't think that happened, but still, if it happened, I understand, but yeah, it proved the point, right? It, it, what ha Them going on strike proved the point. Like, nothing was disrupted. The reason why nothing was di disrupted, I got to say it, you got all the equality. Men do the hard jobs. So they may be, oh, you're not getting paid the same. But society, society is still running because men are doing all of the hard jobs. The jobs that keep Iceland running. Because it looks like Iceland was running fine. 
why they were doing that. And I'm not trying to take anything. I think gender equality is good. There is gender equality everywhere. Women can work any jobs they want. It's just they're not qualifying themselves, qualifying themselves for the right positions. It's facts. This here proves it. PSA for Caribbean and African women dating African American men, especially if you're a girl's girl. Do not let these faux passport bros that can't afford to go abroad play in your face. I remember dating a guy that was like, oh yeah, I tend to get along better with African and Caribbean women because y'all tend to be, you know, more traditional things like that. Don't get me wrong. I do actually have pretty traditional values, but I still am a little modern leaning. But as a girl's Everybody girl, what is. I hear you saying is these other women require too much of me and I know you're going to cook and clean and you're going to do all of these things. And so I get to rest on my laurels and just go out into the world, make some money, and that's all that you need. Wrong. Just because we're traditional, just because we're Caribbean, doesn't mean that we do not expect you to show up for us emotionally, spiritually, or have expectations that you do more than just provide for our household. Traditional women in general are not a cop-out from you doing the work that it takes to keep a marriage healthy and happy. For reference, I am Haitian and I am West African from Benin Republic. I'm also a Christian. Christian. And to be honest, my Christian values is actually what causes me to be a little bit more traditional because I grew up with a single mom in a strong woman household. So I was actually taught not to define my worth by marriage or not to think of a man as a plant. So I have my own money but I also cook and clean. I say all of that to say you will not use me to trample over my sisters. Who are you? Thank you and have a great day. Modern woman. <laughs> man, once she said and she's a modern woman because she grew up without a father. And that's facts. Once she said that, I heard from the way she was talking. And then once she said, my mother was alone, I said, oh, man. It's wild. It's like the playbook. You just go back to the playbook, right? Even with the woman, the 100,000 woman, you go back to the playbook and say, why was the country still running? Because of what? Men, men always say it. Men are doing the hard jobs. Why does she feel the way she... Feel that way in what she was saying because there was no father to instill discipline, right? Because if the father was there to instill discipline, you would feel more towards why the guy was saying what he was saying. And I can tell, and there's a lot of confusion. Like, women don't realize why he said that. Actually, I never said that to my wife. That was, he was, that was strike one. Never go over to another country and say that to a woman in the country. Oh, you're so much better. Don't do that. Don't start comparing. And she said, for passport, bro, I mean, yeah, he carried himself that way. Don't go over there, oh, yeah, this is why I feel you're better. Don't do not do that. Because the woman right away go, they, their they guards go up. All he did was put the girls' guards up for no reason, right? Keep these women guards down. I'm not saying well, he was de definitely 100% wrong. Just keep it calm. That's all. I personally believe that men would always like lead for me i'm that kitambo person mm -hmm. i would believe manaume i will follow you because you cannot lead your future mm -hmm. we are your future right your mm -hmm. generation mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and if you have the right person lead direct if you let him be a man <laughs> <laughs> my man always doing these clips but you know and, and that's what's happening right guys are hearing that and saying I want to go over there but you already see I showed you her and the other woman for a reason because no matter where you go and I want passport bros to know this no matter where you go there's going to every woman around the world thinks somewhat modern so you do have to be careful. There's still single mamas out there. There's still mothers that grow up without a father, right? Who, who automatically will take woman's side. You have women that are still feminists out there. It's wild. They're everywhere. So tread carefully. You know, don't be saying, oh, woman wouldn't do that for me. Don't do that. Don't do the comparison thing. Just keep it called you. Act like nothing's going. Kick your feet back like everything is fine. Right, and stay chill, and, and things may go your way, right? But yeah, guys, thank y'all for watching. But I want guys to understand I'm not going against you. There's mother other guys that will, but I'm not. I'm just trying to help guys move right. But realize you want to make it happen, 
and you want to go because you you already know it's definitely more to life than dealing with the nonsense back home. See you in the next video. This is the way. Your passport, bro. Make sure your passport. No. Answer's coming.